Hi and welcome. So this project will be a quick and fairly simple one. It's all about uh, tooling in my lathe. So this is my tailstock drill and you'll notice that it has a tang on it. It's an MT4 uh, taper with a tang and it's extremely useful. Uh, the tang prevents the, uh, the drill bit, the drill chuck from rotating under stress and scratching the inside of the, uh, the bore. However, I recently got this ER40 uh, collet holder in MT4 and it came with a threaded base which presumably is for a drawbar, but that doesn't do me any good on the lathe. Number one, I can't even eject this tool out of the tailstock. So if I put it in, I have to pry it out, which is terrible. Um, so what I intend to do is I am going to take this stock and this bolt and uh, we are going to make a tang for this, uh, this tool. Rather than try and find the appropriate one and buy a new one, I'm gonna see if I can make this one work. First step in this process is gonna to be to create a split mandrel. And uh, what I do is I create one for each thread size that I wanna hold. And uh, I mark them and I just put them in the drawer with the, uh, the thread size, you know, the screws that go with that so that anytime I need to do anything with it, I can find the mandrel. So basically I'll end up having a full set when I go through all the sizes of screws I have in my inventory. <laughs> I'm going to start with uh, half inch. I've got a stubby half inch and I'm going to use this to get a relatively straight hole and then we'll step up to 1730 seconds. It turns out that the threads are standard, not metric. They're 5 8 11 threads in that uh, MT uh, ER40 uh, collet holder. So that'll work out. I just want to get a little more depth. I don't think I went quite deep enough with the half inch. Not that anything here is particularly critical. Okie dokie. Tapping next. So for the tapping operation, I'm going to have to use a crescent wrench because the tap handles won't fit between the bed and uh, once they're attached, the handles will be too long to fit between here and the bed and clear. So, crescent wrench it is. So we're freeing this guy out of here. What I'll do is I'll take this over the bandsaw and I'll cut it off about here and we'll split it down to this width and uh, we should be good to go. We need to clean threads up a little bit. We're at the bandsaw. We're just going to cut off the piece we want plus some extra material. And I'm trying to leave enough material on it that'll be useful when I'm done. Okay, so we've got this guy mounted in the vise. We're going to split it in half and we're going to cut it to about here and uh, then we're going to part this guy off and that'll allow us to clamp threads of uh, 5 8 11 in the uh, in the four jaw or the three jaw without damaging them and uh, I might as well get started here had the clamp slip off of here so I'm reclamping it and I'm just going to have to face off this uh, damaged portion because it's ugly and I don't like it
right, so we're going to part this guy off. We'll go in a little ways. We'll grab the file, clean it up a little bit. Uh, I had to face this guy off to remove most of the damage I did by uh, having the clamp come loose on the saw. So uh, just going to go in here. Probably should stand aside because these probably aren't going to come off nicely. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, they are split after all. Uh, we'll take these guys over, clean them up, clean all the debris out. But now we've got something to catch the threads in. I have the 5 8 11 bolt loaded in uh, in the new uh, collet chuck, uh, threaded collet chuck I made. I label both sides with the thread pitch so that I can find it uh, next time. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to part off the end here. And then I'm going to take this down to just below the threads. And uh, might as well just get started. Well, we can go faster than that. Quite a bit of stick out here. That might be part of my problem. After wiping out my really nice parting tool from Kenna Metal, one of the few nice tools I own, <laughs> damaged the tool. I uh, used this other uh, parting tool I got a while ago and uh, reviewed. A, I think it's the AccuPro one. It actually worked just fine. I. Uh, I pulled up on the threads a little more to make it a stiffer uh, uh, mounting point and it went just fine. So we're going to pop this guy out and uh, I'm going to advance it a little bit because I want to trim down the threads. So we're going to remove the threads back to about here. This is actually, this bolt is actually a hardened bolt so it's, uh, it's making it kind of challenging to turn. So that's kind of an interesting uh, note there. All right, so let's see if we can turn this down. All right, I think we're there. So I'm just going to chamfer some edges just to make them not quite as nasty. And uh, next we can uh, make the tang the piece that's going to be the tang. Here's the bolt head. This is definitely a hardened bolt. Uh, quite challenging. So we can pop it out of the mandrel and we can weld this guy up when we're done with the other side. We just need to notch the uh, center of this guy to fit this guy. And uh, we are looking for a touch on the paper here. Okay. And that'll be three thousandths. Oops. 
So we want to go in 480 total. So I think we're going to take little hundred thousands bites if we can. And then we need to go side to side a couple of thousands. Still a little snug. Perfect. That's a good fit. I mean, you just need to cut this off and weld it up. While I was at it, I did both sides. That way I can make two of these. I still have to do another threaded one. I forgot to do that. Um, I actually have two of these MT4 uh, draw bar style uh, holders that I need to modify. So I'll make a second one. So now we just need to go cut both of these off and then weld them onto the, uh, the appropriate screw or bolt threaded section. <laughs> Not exactly sure what to call it, so we'll TIG weld that on and uh, then we will uh, Loctite this in place and we should be good to go. Well, we're at the end and all I need to do is thread this guy in here with some Loctite and uh, we should be good to go. I've got my piece for the second one if I ever get around to uh, cutting the threads on this. That's not as urgent because I already have a solution that's working for that one. I've got a screw stuck in the end of it and that lets me eject it. But this is a better solution. I wish my welding skills were a bit better. I probably could have filled this all the way in and ground it flat so you wouldn't be able to tell. But it's plenty strong for what it needs to do. Um, let's just whip over here. Put some permanent Loctite on there. Thread this guy on. The gentle adjuster. Puppy's tightened up. And here we go. Here's the final product. In case you're wondering how this all goes together, push the tailstock out. You can see the tab aligns. Pop it in, and we're good to go. Pull the tailstock back in, automatically ejects it. My drill chuck had the tang built in. My live center had a screw that uh, you just leave out a little bit and it ejects just fine when the pin pushes out. But to be honest, I like this solution better. It can't rotate and it makes a much more solid engagement. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Hope to see you next time.